How did you begin acting? Ah, again, you know, my life is uh, when you, it's only during interviews that I look back and I realize with fascination how many things fell into place at certain points in life which you don't ever expect it to happen that way, you know. So here I was in the U.S. Um, uh, with my medical studies and residency and career happening. And then uh, I remember sitting with my brother one day and saying, hey, you know what, I, uh, I really, I really, really want to act, you know. And he said this, he, he sat me down in, in a very traditional Indian style. He said, sit down and here is a balance. Okay, here's your doctor balance, here's your acting balance. Which one is, which one is making you want to you know, tilt that way? And I, that was a very interesting way to put because for me, I could have easily just continued on the path of medicine and not taken this risk of trying to break away and try to get into films. You know, films was not in anywhere in my realm till that point. Um, so that really made me think. I just sat for a second and, you know, I, I, I literally I saw this whole stardust falling onto this side of the <laughs> balance in my in my mind, I'm like, oh, that sounds so interesting and so exciting. I want to do this too, you know, because he said, you know, if they're both equal or if this is more important to you right now, then let go of the acting dream. You know, why do you want to, why do you want to take that whole risk now? You're, you're set in a career path. It's a great path. People respect you. You like the field. Um, why do you want to do that? And, but then I, I, it's something inside me. It's, it's, uh, the, the magic of celluloid, the magic of these characters which have stayed with me since childhood, you know, all these beautiful films, they have shaped my destiny. In many, many ways, films have shaped my destiny. So I said, no, I'm going to give it a try. I have to do this. And I had no background whatsoever. No, not in, nobody, no connection in film, no nothing. I have always been in the performing arts, which is different, the traditional performing arts, you know, that kind of thing. So I went uh, to an acting course in Mumbai. I took a short break and went to an acting course and I loved every moment of it. I, I, I just wanted to try it out. I said, what, whether this is me, you know, can I be other characters and, and do this? And I loved every moment of it. And, and yet I, I heard about, oh my gosh, how difficult it is to break into acting. You know, you may have to, to go and um, knock on office doors for years without getting the right parts and audition. And at that point I panicked. I was like, okay, now, now how long do I take this break for? You know, because I, I already have studied medicine and I'm on that path. And I mean, I, this, is, this is, okay, it's a distraction I took, but, but this is not seeming as easy as I thought it would be in any way. But see, you know, destiny works in strange ways. I was set to come back to the US a week later with my ticket from India. And uh, I got a call from my diction teacher. He was teaching me Hindi diction because my language was not even Hindi. It, it, my, my original language was Kannada, which is a regional language I grew up with. So um, I was learning Hindi, <laughs> you know. And he just said, uh, hey, there's a, a producer who's looking for a girl whose description seemed exactly like you match it, go and meet him. And I, I grabbed that opportunity. I, I, I knew I was probably returning to the States back in one week, but I said, what have I got to lose? I will go meet this one producer. And my diction teacher, I respect him. He's a very, uh, he's a very reliable person and he wouldn't like point me in a direction where it was nothing, you know, it was useless or anything like that. So I, I, I caught an auto rickshaw, you know, the three wheeler that you have, the public vehicle in India. I caught, I didn't have a car there at that time. I took an auto rickshaw, I rushed to that office and I, I just walked in and I said, I'm here to meet you for this role. And I remember there was the producer, Mr. Rakesh Nath, I will never forget, they gave me my break in film, you know. And the director was the celebrated uh, artist, international artist, Mr. M.F. Hussain, who was a painter, and he's no more. He's, uh, but he, uh, they were both sitting there. He was going to direct that film. They were both sitting in the office. So I walk in the office, uh, my very first ever, this kind of an, you know, it wasn't an audition, but I just walked in to say, may I try for this part? 
And I remember I walked in and, and then I just introduced myself and they just looked at me and they looked at each other and they said, okay, thank you, you may go. And I was, uh, I didn't get it. I was like, I said, um, what, can I speak? And they said, no, 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 we'll let you know. Thank you. And that was it. I said, okay. And I left. Uh, and here I am going back towards uh, my uh, uh, travel ticketing office. And I get a call saying from the same producer about two hours later, we had, uh, the, the office travel office was two hours away. So I was in, my, in, in a cab. And I get saying, uh, when are you going to come and sign the contract? You're on. That was as easy as my oh. entry into film was. And I wasn't auditioned. Uh, I, was, I wasn't asked to sp speak the lines or anything. But I guess what happened is I was in the right place at the right time and I just did not miss that opportunity. The reason I'm bringing this up is many, many people I see in my life right now, they throw away opportunities. I mean, it stares me in the face. They say, oh, I'm too tired. Maybe, oh, next time, you know me. And I'm like, oh my gosh, no, you don't do that. This is where that biggest door in your life could, to, it could change your entire day. And I can't explain that I see many times. I try telling people and they look at me like I'm crazy. And I'm like, ah, that little meeting? No, I'll do it next week. No, you do it now, you know? Mm -hmm. So that's why I'm saying this in so much detail because that, that's all it took. I, I did not, I, I, I got the phone call from my addiction teacher. I took an auto, I went there. I just stood there for one minute, I walked out. And bang, I was in one of the most beautiful films ever, Gajagamini. And it, it's a one of a kind piece. And it had the legendary actors of Indian cinema in it. Um, Madhuri Dikshit, Shabana Azmi, Naziruddin Shah, Farida Jalal, Shilpa Shirodkar, Mr. Shah Rukh Khan made a special appearance. So I was in the midst of all these legends watching them work in my very first film. And my appearance was beautiful. I, pl I played the muse of Rabindranath Tagore, the, the famed poet and the Nobel laureate. And I played his muse. He had written about this beautiful character, Abhisarika, you know, in his poetry. And I played her. So it was a very artistic entry into film. And, and see how it happened. It was amazing. And one thing, obviously, when, when once you're in and then you, uh, you have the talent, you have the dedication, you have the sincerity. I believe always next doors open and that's what happened for me. It sounds like then opportunity whispers. Yes. And very instead much. of knocks and and you somehow read those signs like let's do this now whereas you say you do see other people that maybe put it off and it may be fear it's it's or just thinking that there's more time but that I get fear too. I have fear too. But I don't let that stop me. Uh, I sometimes get paralyzing fears about Dude. about things, you know, so many things. But I also realize that the more maturity I have, the more older I get, I'm realizing you have to grab the moment because really that is all there is. Really that is all there is. You know, you never know what the next moment, how things can change, how things can take off in a completely different tangent. So. So take, like you're saying, the universe, I believe this, uh, the universe will give you signs, very, very gentle, intuitive signs for whoever believes in either God or faith or universe, however you put that, that, that higher power, which is beyond us as humans, is trying to communicate to us in a certain way, in any way, or, you know, there is, it may come through a person, a phone call, like you say, like that whisper, you know, it can be a, an intuition within you saying, go there today, something will happen that's good. But you need to follow that, you know, otherwise life will just pass by. And, and like I've read it so many times in people who are legends, you know, in the, in the, at, at the end of their lives, they always say, have said this, I have never regretted the things I have done. I always regret the things I have not done. You know, when I see that, Actually, that is my biggest fear, <laughs> you know. I don't want to do that. I don't want to come to the end of my life and say, I wish I had done, I had taken the courage to do that, you know. Uh, because, you know, as a human, we are, all, we are all with faults. We, you know, we will make mistakes. So 
at the end of my life, it's okay if I look back and say, oh gosh, I made a billion mistakes. But I don't want to reach that point and say, oh, I should have tried that. That would have made a difference to my life, my family's life, my community's life, my world's life. I didn't do it. I don't want to feel that. So that is why I, I go forward. <laughs>